from the East Bank Esplanade, a great view of the Hawthorne Bridge in downtown Portland, Oregon. We have the Thunder as the road team for today's Western Conference matchup. We're live from Portland where the Trailblazers have home court advantage. The excitement of the NBA is on the way. This is Kevin Holland alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And the Trailblazers start out with the ball. We've got a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this one. Taking a look at the Thunder. The rugged duo of Ibaka and Adams in the middle. Russell Westbrook out there with Roberson. Adds Durant in at the small forward. Clearly it was a disappointing year for the Thunder last season, guys. But they still were very good in the Northwest Division. They finished second behind the Blazers and won 10 of their 16 in division games. And so it's the Thunder getting on the board first. Lillard left side, and the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. Davis sets a screen. Up top, Henderson. Five on the clock. On deep. And Damian Lillard. Good for the three. Lillard's got himself on the board with three there. Now here's Westbrook. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. And a really good way to start the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early, he's going to give you problems. And Lillard kicks to Plumlee. Lillard attacking. Puts up the baby hook. Plumlee, no luck. Boy, I tell you what, guys. He's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. And that one's good. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. Yeah, and watch, Clark, how the game plays out because this is going to open things up on the perimeter. Here's Lillard. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Offensive rebound. And, uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. Tell you what, man, it Two looks shots. as though the light is officially gone on for Ed Davis. I mean, he drifted around a bit over his first five seasons, but well, he made Shoot real two. strides last year. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Davis. The Thunder have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Outside Durant. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. We're going back to Ed Davis, his rebounds, field goal percentage were way up last year. He's finally developed the strength to anchor inside and, Greg, the skill set to convert scoring opportunities as well. And, and, Kevin, you can see his confidence growing. He just needs to keep at it to reach his full potential. On defense, the Trailblazers. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Not a problem. That's your first miss of the game. Strong start. Davis sets a screen. From the baseline. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Henderson's got his first bucket in this one. The Thunder have gone four or five from the field so far. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Outside Durant. Shot clock at six. Down low. And there's Ibaka. That's good on the assist by Durant. 
Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. Now here's Lillard off the screen. Now Henderson. Plumlee dishes to Henderson. Plumlee sets the pick for Henderson. And it's blocked by Adams, but he gets it back. And that one's good by Henderson. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, outside Westbrook, puts up the baby hook, and there's another one for the Thunder. Trailblazers trail by three. Pass to Plumlee. He kicks it to a Henderson. Misses off the right iron. The Thunder have gotten six or seven shots to fall in the first quarter. They're off and running. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And for Russell Westbrook, a heroic effort last season, but, but not necessarily an efficient one. He averaged 28 points a game, which led the league, but shot a five-year low of 43% to get those points. And he led the league in turnover average. But that's also because he's got such a high volume usage now with all the injuries. And he sinks the second. Oh, Greg, in the topic of Westbrook, no one's questioning his heart and his will. It was unbelievable what he did after Durant went down. But, but Clark, the truth is, it's hard to make the playoffs playing inefficient basketball. No, I agree. I mean, there are certain guys who are catalysts and other guys who make things happen. And Iverson, Ginobili, Russell's old teammate, James Harden, those guys make things happen, and you have to live with some of their inefficiency at times. Henderson, no good. Oklahoma City leading by four. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. I had a chance to catch up with Terry Stotts. He knows one of the hardest parts on scoring against this defense has to do with their prolific shot blocker, Serge Ibaka. He told me he's one of those guys who can get in your head a little bit because he's so mobile. You often don't see him coming. And Kevin, you add in his great rebounding and ability to hit from mid-range, and he's always an X factor for them. Back to you. All right, Doris, thanks. And finish off by Westbrook. And folks, he does more than just put two points onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of flair. Uh -huh, he sure does. You're right. It's a dazzling move to the bucket for him. I'll tell you what, he may not be the biggest man in the league, guys, but he more than makes up for that lack of size with amazing aerial skills. Henderson, no good off the front iron. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Roberson, the pass to Westbrook. Outside Durant, fires from deep. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. You know, nine times out of 10, he's gonna knock that one down. We'll spray that one on you. Feeds it to Henderson. Looking to end the drought, and it's blocked by Adams. And now the fast break. Westbrook with the ball, and it's Durant missing. Trailblazers trail by six. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. That shot wide open. Anderson's got seven. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Damian Lillard is a two-time All-Star. He just keeps getting better and better, and I love his demeanor on the floor. He, he seems a lot older than he really is. Yeah, he's got an old head, and he's got a very yeah. even keel disposition about him, which serves him well. He almost missed the All-Star game last season and was an injury replacement.
for the Trailblazers. Kamen comes in for Mason Plumlee. And it's Myers Leonard in for Ed Davis. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Cantor's checked in. The Thunder leading by three. And for Lillard, that motivation. And remember, he got cut from Team USA a couple summers ago in favor of Derrick Rose and Kyrie Irving. And Lillard calls it wood on the fire. Those things keep him focused and also hungry. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. And remember, Lillard, the former Rookie of the Year. He, he's had his snubs, but also he's gotten some recognition. Even playing in the Pacific Northwest, he's got his own signature shoe now, and his star definitely on the rise. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. There's a good screen. Durant with a wide open look. Drains it from beyond the arc. Durant's got nine. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Kamen kicks to Henderson. Kamen sets a screen for Henderson. Puts it up from 17. Westbrook pulls it in. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 8 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Kamen with the defensive effort. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. It's Henderson on the wing. Six on the shot clock. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. McCollum's checked in for Gerald Henderson. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Nick Collison's checked in for Ibaka. Singler comes in for Kevin Durant. Waiters, he's checked in for Roberson. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Augustine with it. And the pass to Waiters. Boom, he jams it straight down. Big time finish, emphatic. He hangs on the rim, too, just for for good measure. Yeah, but guys, nothing wrong with a little bit of showboating every now and then. Now, here's Aminu. Came in a screen. The shot by Lillard, wide open. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Collison inside. He is guarded by McCollum. Haters, no luck. Trailblazers trail by four. Aminu with the bucket. Three consecutive baskets have come right at the rim. The defense had better start buckling down and tightening up. Guys, they are getting exposed in terms of their low post defense. Dishes at the Waiters. Good, and the assist goes to Collison. Waiters got five. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. They set the pick. And Aminu kicks to Lillard. And here's McCollum. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Shoots. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. The Thunder leading by three. Cancer with a screen on Lillard. Augustine dishes to Cantor. Over to the wing. Six to shoot. Now here's Waiters. D right on him. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And Portland making a change here. Onlay is checked in. One thirty-six left here in the first quarter. Inside. Nice D from Singler. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. 
You know, and Billy Donovan, the Oklahoma City Thunder, were able to pull him away from the college game last season, signed him to a five-year deal in the middle of last year's playoff. McCollum with the ball, and it's Waiters picking him up. Pass to Lillard. It's up a three. Here's Vonley, and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. That's on Ennis Cantor. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved a layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for Oklahoma City. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the opening man and getting some easy baskets. You know, it also hasn't taken them long to make their mark in the paint. I mean, they're doing a lot of their scoring from in there. That free throw, no good. Portland ended up winning the Northwest Division last season, guys. The rest of the division wasn't at their best, but nevertheless, I think Portland was really happy to walk away with that division title. And he's good on the second. And for the Blazers last year, that division win would be their first in the Northwest. They had won divisions before, but they kind of surprisingly, not since the Northwest came about in 2004. Yeah, it's a great point, but but doesn't matter how ugly the rest of the division was. A division win is still just that. Portland might have been the only team from the Northwest to make the postseason, but they earned the division title by winning the games they needed. Now here's Lillard after Ennis Cantor's miss. And the basket by Lillard. It is so hard to contain him. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. And Waiters kicks to Augustine. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. To the inside, Cantor. The basket is good. The assist from Augustine. Yes. And the Thunder lead by two. Man, how about the dexterity for this big guy? I mean, he is really smooth around the basket. And Lillard kicks to Aminu. Vonley, the pass to Lillard. And that misses. That would have put him up. Waiters can't get it to go. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Thunder lead by two. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. Serge Ibaka, coming known for his shooting ability now, he talked about the confidence his teammates and his coach instilled in him. Well, if you wonder how much difference a coach can make for a player, there it is. Huh? You, you heard it in Serge's voice, too. That confidence has already been planted in him. That, that voice telling him, shoot the ball, is now in his own head. He, he's going to be just fine. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. What do you guys think about the Thunder here in this one? This is almost like a volleyball game when you watch just how many shots they blocked or altered. Well, how about this? A lot of side out for them the way they swatted shots away. That's a volleyball term, by the way, folks. Steven yeah. Adams. Or handball. Like or yeah, handball. Yeah, either well. one of the two. They're knocking a lot away. Yeah. Lillard at the point with C.J. McCollum playing the two. Henderson out there with Von. And it's Plumlee in at the five spot. They're the group the Portland Trailblazers will start the second quarter with. Now here's Durant. After the miss from Mason Plumlee. Adams right side. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Kiwi Stephen Adams, one of the toughest players down on the block. And Kevin Adams is not afraid to get under somebody's skin. He's pretty strong defensively, too. And you know, guys, that's one of the things I like about Adams. I mean, he'll draw the ire of opposing players just because of how he approaches the game. Lillard attacking. To the wing right side. Just five to shoot. Here's McCollum. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got four rebounds in this game. 
Yeah, and guys, Adams doesn't want to be known as a dirty player. I mean, I think he feels he plays aggressive and he hustles, and that sometimes rubs players the wrong way. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. Lillard attacking. Portland no good that time either. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Westbrook dishes to Waiters. And that one comes up a bit short. Trailblazers trail by seven. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Lumley with the screen. Henderson kicks to Lillard. Passes to McCollum. Back to Lillard. For three. And it's Lillard again missing. The Thunder leading by seven. Waiters passes to Adams. There's the dish to Westbrook. Looking for Adams. He gets it there. Alert from Durant. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Durant's got 11 points. Well, I like the way he orchestrated in tight that time, fellas. Cayman's checked in for Plumlee. Davis is subbed in for Noah Vonley. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. Roberson, he's checked in for Deion Waiters. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Henderson dishes to Cayman. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Portland again missing. He hit a three in the first but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. It's tipped. Stolen by McCollum. Kicks it to Kamen. Here's McCollum. Six to shoot. To halt the run. Got a piece of it. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Durant kicks to Ibaka. Here's Roberson. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And now it's a double-digit lead. And now a 12-point Oklahoma City lead. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Now here's Lillard. He's got five. Free throw line jump shot. Lillard again missing. He's given them little to nothing at the offensive end. I can't put it any other way. Durant, the pass to Westbrook. Robertson can't hit. Portland's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. In the corner, Henderson with it. Step back shot. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Durant. He dishes it to Robertson. He feeds it to Westbrook. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Hey, guys, you talk about players who have that killer instinct. Russell Westbrook is right at the top of that list. And you think, Greg, about Westbrook's killer instincts. You were alluding to that. It's very apparent at times. Players praise and Clark, I think, fear him for just that characteristic alone. Well, how about this, Kevin? Kobe Bryant said Westbrook has the same love for competition that he has. Whenever other guards are pulled, Westbrook is their worst matchup. Mm. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Good game for Westbrook. He's got eight points, and he was able to come up with one steal, too. 
you know what? He's been a difference maker defensively today, Clark. He's disrupted more plays than the stat sheet will show. Yeah, it's just a smart shot taking advantage of the mismatch. Well, with a stroke like that and the height advantage as well, the mid-range J is almost a given. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Seems every season, Clark, you hear the same thing. Portland Trail Blazers had to deal with some tough injuries. Kevin, it appears as though it might actually be a curse. I don't like to use that word, but the history of this team and injuries is as unique as any in the league. Last year, okay, no different. gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No good on that one. And with the Blazers and injuries, even when they fought through pain, guys weren't at 100%. Aldridge wasn't quite the same with his hand injury. No good at the stripe this time. Second miss is also. And losing Matthews for the season was huge, too, guys. I mean, every team goes through injury woes and bumps during the course of a season, but the Blazers just seem to be, at least in the last half dozen years or so, hit very hard every year. Now, here's Lillard. Five points in the game. Three on the clock. Henderson. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Ibaka dishes to Durant, and he gets it to go. Durant's got the lead up to 13 now for Oklahoma City. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. He's been aggressive looking for a shot, but without much success. It might be time for him to take a step back and look to help the team in other ways. in for Portland. Here's Henderson. Now here's McCollum. And there's the feed to Cayman. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And, and Chris Kamen, guy signing with the Blazers last season, he's had big contracts before, but told his agent, hey, let's focus on getting a winning situation. And the Blazers really needed bench depth in their front court, Clark. A great situation for Chris Kamen to come into and contribute. Yeah, you know, he felt he'd been overlooked with the Lakers the season prior and bruised his ego a bit. In Portland, he found a defined role providing scoring off the bench, which suited him well. Good on the second free throw. Well, you look at the roster of the Thunder from last year, Clark, they knew how to build from within. Well, last season's roster, everybody but one player was either drafted or acquired via trade. That's a rare combo in the NBA. Out of bounds, Portland takes possession. Portland ball. And the Thunder making a switch here. Cantor's checked in. There's the pick to the paint. Up off the screen. Al with the shot. 
And, and guys, for the Thunder, listen, they're not a big market team. They've had to make sacrifices with money to, to stay competitive. They do a terrific job with the limitations that that small market presents. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening. It, it really is, Clark. The defenders need to do a better job of closing those lanes to the hoop. Now here's Kamen. He's got five, and he gets it to go. And, you know, as we've seen, success in the NBA can come in a lot of different packages. I mean, it can happen without the big free agent signing or spending. It helps to draft a guy like Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, for that matter. Shots good by Durant. A great assist. Nice work from Russell Westbrook. Now here's McCollum. He's covered by Westbrook. And Durant sends it back. Out of bounds. Trailblazers ball as Portland keeps possession. Blazers ball. Leonard, he's checked in for Ed Davis. And then for Oklahoma City. Nick Collison's checked in for Adams. Singler comes in for Kevin Durant. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Clock at six. Trailblazers trail by 12. And here's McCollum for three. And Cantor pulls it down. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. And Roberson kicks to Augustine. Pass to Cantor. Feeds it to Robertson. Puts up a three, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Portland's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Out left to the wing. Aminu, the pass to McCollum. Leonard sets a screen for McCollum. Kamen a screen. McCollum kicks to Kamen. He used that pick to get in close. Kamen's got nine points. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Nice shot by Singler. That's really the area where they'd like all of their shots to come from. Trailblazers trail by 12. McCollum kicks to Aminu. To the right side. There's a screen. McCollum dishes to Leonard. He kicks it to Henderson. Just five on the clock. Softly drops in the floater. Nine points in the game so far. That is an elegant move to drop in the floater there, guys. Now Augustine. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. The pass to Cannon on the wing single. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Augustine, no luck. Trailblazers are shooting 31% in the second. Some poor shot selection for them in this quarter. Leonard with a screen at Augustine. McCollum kicks to Leonard. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And Myers Leonard at 7-1. An interesting combination of size, athleticism, and shooting touch. Really likes to play on the perimeter. And Leonard likes to run, jump, and shoot more than bang inside a thing, Clark. Well, you know, Kevin, you like that he has that ability to go outside, but with his size, he'll be most valuable, I think, if he also embraces throwing his weight around in the paint area. Agreed. Plumley is checked in for Chris Kamen. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. Dion Waiters checked in for Andre Robertson. Leonard hits them both. As magical as the 2014 playoffs were for the Blazers, remember they beat Houston in that first round, that great shot by Lillard uh, late to win it and move on. 2015, not as much, you know, Greg. They drew a very tough Memphis team, as you recall, in the first round. Yeah, you, you often talk about styles making fights very similar in this series. They would go on to drop the first three games before being bounced, but, but still a good showing for a team that struggled mightily down the stretch with injuries. 
Call one, pass it to Leonard. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Cantor. And, and really no choice but to lunge for that pass to make sure it didn't get through. Yeah, and that was important. Probably would have been a quick two points if he doesn't get a hand on it and knock it out of bounds. Monley's checked in for Portland. And here's McCollum for three. And the basket good. McCollum's got five now. And, you know, just as you said, Portland didn't have enough to get by the Grizzlies in the first round. Ended up losing in five after taking one game, and that was game four. Just had a hard time breaking down the Memphis defense. Waiters gets a wide-open look, and right away they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And how about that for a response? Well, it sounded as though, or at least it looked as though it sounded like, we'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. Now here's McCollum. He has five. Augustine with the steal. And it's denied. And it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession here. One nineteen left in the first half of basketball. Dishes it to Waiters. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Anderson dishes to McCollum. Plumley sets the pick for McCollum. Pass to Plumley. Kicks it to Henderson. Plumley with a screen on Augustine. Henderson, no good. Oklahoma City leading by 10. Singler passes to Augustine. They set the pick. Down low, off the screen, and there's Ennis Cantor on the assist by Augustine. And it's six points for Ennis Cantor. Great pass that time by DJ Augustine. 29 seconds left in the first half. McCollum kicks to Vonley, and he uses the glass on the way. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. Oklahoma City's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two of six from long range. Now here is Augustine. He is guarded by McCollum. Here's Cantor. Again, Oklahoma City. Six seconds left in the second quarter. Near the three-point line, it's oh, and the buzzer beaters good. And that's a big bonus for him to end the quarter as he just beats the buzzer. That's superb clock management there, maximizing every second of the clock in that situation. Well done. And the first half is now in the books. Thunder out in front, up by 10. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke, standing by on the sideline. Doris? Yes, Kevin, I'm here with Russell Westbrook. And Russell, how confident are you that regardless of what defender you see in front of you, you can get what you want? Uh, very confident. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in myself. Uh, I put a lot of work in in the summertime. But I'm very confident. Russell, thank you so much. Kevin, hard work pays off. Thank you, Doris, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for the third quarter of basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We welcome you to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A tremendous start for Kevin Durant. He had 18 points, two rebounds, and one block. Shaq, your thoughts on the Thunder. Kenny, let's get your insight on Portland. I thought they were definitely outworked on the defensive end. They showed a lack of hustle, a lack of physicality. They weren't staying in front of their guys or putting bodies on people. It's critical that they improve their defensive effort in the second half. And that's it for halftime as the second half is just about to get underway. See you after the game. Now the second half about to start up and begin any moment. What a performance from Durant here. 18 points, and he's knocked down a pair of three-pointers in this game, too. And maybe it's time for them to set a few more screens for him up top and let him add to that total.
Here's Westbrook. So for Oklahoma City right now, Durant the three and Ibaka the four. Roberson is up there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Adams in at the center, locking down the middle. Now, here's Aminu. It's a 10-point game. Henderson, no one around him. The three-pointer, no good. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. As a result, they've got a big lead. And that one's good. Roberson's got the first field goal, the second half for the Thunder. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at either end, steals, fast break buckets, and the other team scrambling to find its game. Great point. I mean, that aggression has allowed them to just create a lot of havoc, and boy, are they taking advantage. Here's Lillard following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Well, I'd have to say Lillard is one of the game's best passers right now. The Thunder leading by 12. There's the pick. Lillard against Westbrook. Adams outside. Lock at six. Outside Durant. It falls for basket number nine from the field. He's taken 14 shots to get there. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. Lillard against Westbrook. Lillard attacking. Sweet little floater. Lillard's got seven points in the game. You know, obviously, he knows how to finish with some flair. Well, Thunder have gone three of three from the field since halftime. And one thing about Damian Lillard, for as much as he handles the ball, for as much as he pushes the action, he doesn't turn the ball over. I mean, surprising for a young, aggressive point guard, but this guy plays wise beyond his year. Now here's Lillard following the miss by Russell Westbrook. Lillard left side. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And you know, Clark, another important point regarding Lillard, for as aggressive as he has been going to the basket, he's extremely durable. He, he's, he's been terrific in terms of health. He's been an every gamer throughout his young career. That is yeah. remarkable. Unusual in today's NBA, for sure. No good on the free throw. Mason Plumley will really put it on you. Tough, hard-nosed player has the size to bang and the athleticism GA to run the court. And it's interesting, Kevin. His game translated better as a professional than maybe as a collegian. I mean, he's a guy that's a lunch pail kind of player. Rolls up his sleeves, focuses in, and willing to do the dirty work. Excellent point about the comparison, college and pro. I think you're right on. And, you know, back to Plumley, he showed steady improvement last season, improved statistically in just about every category over his rookie year. If he could become a little less mechanical with his post game. I think he could even go higher. Thunderball. Timeout. Timeout. Timeout for Oklahoma City. All right, I want everyone to give it up for your Blazer Dancers. Here's Durant, almost, but it rolls out. Trailblazers trail by 12. 
Lillard attacking. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Westbrook's got four rebounds now tonight. Finishes the break with a slam. And what a beautiful way to polish off that sequence. Just strong at attacking the rim. That just puts a little more momentum on their side, don't you think? Absolutely. The defense got to tighten up now. I mean, you can't have the opposing point guard throwing down on you like that. Yeah, enough scoring on the inside there. I think it's time for him to send a message to his team. Yeah, you're exactly right. I guarantee you this talk centers around cutting down on all of those points coming in the paint. They've got to show more resistance there. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Hi, Kevin. I was able to hear the advice Terry Stotts gave to his team during that last break. He said a big part of their focus should be on offensive rebounding to get bodies to the glass at that end of the floor and work hard for second chance points. He also wants to see a patient offense, work for the shot, move the ball around, and as he told them, quote, if you don't see a good shot, find someone who does. Well, they need to make something happen before the start of the fourth quarter, and maybe those changes will do the trick, Heather. Thank you, Doris. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut down to 12 on the bucket from Aminu. I can't believe defenders are not aware they cannot allow him that position. Yeah, you're right about that, Greg. He's put a no trespassing allowed on that spot of the floor. It's all his. Here's Roberson. Westbrook a screen on Henderson. Westbrook wide open. He fires. Westbrook missing again. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. Lillard dishes to Henderson. Knocked away. Stolen by Westbrook. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. That's his second shot. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Oklahoma City. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. You know, they're taking care of business in the paint, too. Those are valuable points they've been getting down low. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Leonard's checked in. And Russell Westbrook drops them both. And really, last season, the Thunder came into the year as a popular pick to win the West. Of course, we know what happened in terms of injuries, and, and they ended up having them on the outside looking in in terms of the postseason. Lillard attacking. Good. Lillard's got nine. A huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. Westbrook with it. 14 points for him. At the elbow, it's Ibaka. Six on the shot clock. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fifth assist in this one. For the Thunder, their play against the rest of the West wasn't a huge problem as to why they missed the playoffs. And Clark, you know, they went 25 and 27 against the rest of the West. Well, at first glance, that doesn't look too bad. But only seven wins in those 29 games against the Western Conference playoff teams with the talent the Thunder have you still think of them as favorites in the West, at least one of the favorites in the West. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. There's a good screen. Davis sets a screen. Davis with a screen on Westbrook. And Lillard kicks to Aminu. And the shot falls short this time. Oklahoma City leading by 17. Right side, Westbrook. There's the three. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Lillard's got his fourth rebound in this one. Passes it to Leonard. And guys, Myers Leonard really showing signs of progress in last season. Huge steps forward for the big man. And you know, progress is all about confidence with young players. I mean, his shooting percentages were remarkable when you look at the fact that 50, 40, 90, 50%, 40%, 90% for a seven-footer. Unheard of, and he's in that neighborhood. And the first one drops. Chris Kamen has checked in for Portland. 
McCollum comes in for Gerald Henderson. Waiters, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Leonard hits them both. The Thunder have gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. And here's Westbrook. He's got 14. Ibaka sets the pick for Westbrook. Durant just inside the line. That doesn't go either for Durant. You know, I think Myers Leonard really finding his niche as a stretch big man. And I think with his size and athleticism, the Blazers had envisioned him making his mark in the paint. But the way he's shooting, though, that they're not going to complain nor try to limit his impact on the game. And really, it looks like he may just try to take this thing over on his own and really build that lead up. And, and you know, his teammates, Leonard's teammates encouraged him to just let it fly. So much of the NBA game is confidence. And he's having success putting the ball in the basket. I think he has a chance to be a very good player. Trailblazers trail by 17. Lillard, the pass to McCollum, came in a screen on Waiters. McCollum dishes to Aminu. Let's the three fly. Shot is off. So the Thunder will take it the other way. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. The Thunder leading by 17. Now the dish to Waiters. There's the screen. Outside Westbrook. He feeds it to Waiters. Portland grabs the miss. That's really too easy a chance to miss, guys. He needs to be more aggressive and focused on his finishes. And Lillard kicks to Leonard. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Nothing fancy there. Didn't need it. Nope. His only concern right now, Clark, is get the points on the board, and I don't mean style points. I like the simplicity. Well, <laughs> look at oh, that jam. Wow. I mean, just beautiful. And a sturdy screen set for him that time, and he doesn't fool around just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for his man to get around that one. That's, that's for sure. No chance, Kevin. I mean, the screen was in the right spot. His feet were set. He would have had to go straight through him, and that's not legal. And that last replay courtesy of Kia, and he gets it to go. And that's now 11 points for Chris Kamen. He got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. Lillard against Westbrook. Cantor, the pass to Waiters. Looking to get it going. No luck. And it's Portland the other way. Guys, their comeback bid had better get started. I think there's still enough time for him here, Kevin. Um, I think there's a good chance they can make it happen. I don't know, guys. It's going to take a pretty big run to get back in this one. Well, he's done his part. No doubt about it. Still yet to miss in the game. Westbrook dishes to Ibaka. Stolen by McCollum. Lillard with it. Westbrook picks him up. The feed to Kamen. He dishes it to Leonard. Pass to McCollum. Six to shoot. Kamen up top. Feeds to Aminu. Fires the three. Good. Aminu's got 11. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. 
Westbrook kicks to Durant. They set the screen. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Goes up off the pick. Hop flews off the pick and hammers it home. And that's such solid, fundamental basketball on display right there, guys. You, you talk about it all the time, Greg. Yeah, great use of the pick to set up the dunk. And, guys, it was a terrific understanding between teammates that made that possible. They really did read each other well there. And it's Cayman missing. Oklahoma City leading by 12. Westbrook kicks to Durant. Out to the wing. The wide open look here for Ibaka. Rebounded by McCollum. McCollum's got four rebounds in this game. He kicks to Cayman. Lillard outside. Here's Leonard. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. And it's eight points for Leonard. And good passing. Setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. I, that is a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he's on the money, that's no doubt. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. Full throttle pedal to the metal attacking basketball. I like that. The Thunder have knocked down five of their nine attempts at the strike tonight. And he makes the first. Well, it was a season last year of heartbreak and change for the Thunder, narrowly missing the playoffs as the Pelicans beat them out for that eighth position. Yeah, and they were teetering back and forth on that eighth spot for most of the year. Ultimately, they just couldn't hold on to that final playoff spot. Here's what Portland's going with right now. Plumley is checked in for King. Bonley comes in for Leonard. And it's Henderson for C.J. McCollum. Guys, for the Thunder, that playoff miss was the first time they did make the postseason since their first year in Oklahoma. Fans had really been spoiled with how successful the Thunder have been of late. It's tipped. Augustine against Lillard. Augustine passes to Cantor. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Cantor's got 10. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. And um, that's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They've decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. And the Western playoffs just, it, it seemed a bit amiss without having the Thunder involved. Westbrook, I tell you what, he did everything he could to try and carry that injured group into the postseason last year, but it just wasn't to be. Augustine against Lillard. With the teardrop. Trailblazers foul. Mason Plum. That's his second personal foul. The Thunder have not shot all that well from the free throw line. Six of 11. Two shots. That's good from Cantor. Yeah, and a, and a big year for Ennis Cantor last season. I mean, traded from the Jazz to the Thunder and, and finally saw the minutes that he was hoping for. And Cantor drops them both. Trailblazers trail by 15. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Aminu dishes to Lillard. Looking to get back on track here. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. The Trailblazers have had 12 attempts at the line, making eight so far. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Free throw good from Lillard. <laughs> and 
and he makes both free throws. Here's Westbrook. He's got 19. From deep three-point range, and it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. Lillard. Damian Lillard out there with Henderson. Then there's Al Farouk Aminu. Then it's Plumley, and it's Vonley in at the four slot. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Lillard against Augustine. Got a hand on it. Singler right side. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Plumley's got his third rebound on the night. Lillard against Augustine. Lillard misses. And fancy finishes like that look great, but man, it's embarrassing when you blow them. The Thunder leading by 13. Here's Adams. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. Hit. Shooting one. And Davis is checked in for the Trailblazers. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Durant's checked in. And watching Nick Collison, he makes all the hustle plays, all the little plays, the, the things that really will not show up in a score sheet, stat sheet. For over a decade, he's had that role and embraced it. And, and Kevin, the other thing he does as a veteran is a coach knows what he's going to get. He, he doesn't make the mistakes that some players make. And while he's not gonna be a great scorer in the post or a high-flying rim protector, his game really is built on intelligence and toughness. And, and so positioning for charges, making open mid-range jump shots, all the unsung things that help a team win games. The pass to Henderson. Plumley with the screen. Lock at six. Dishes to Davis. Three-pointer Lillard. That is good. The success they've been having from the three-point line since halftime, I'll bet you that scoreboard starts to look a lot different real soon. Partner, that's assuming they can continue that hot shooting. But if they do, and especially if they can get a few stops, you have to think they'll make this thing interesting. Trailblazers trail by 15. In the corner, Henderson with it. Plumley sets the pick for Henderson. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. You know, on the topic of Nick Collison shooting, last season was his only real setback. Only shot 42% after having a career 54% shooting percentage. But he's up slightly in most other categories, especially the ones based on hustle and effort. Not much the defense can do once he gets to the bucket. The Thunder leading by 13. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. And when you talk about Nick Collison, every team needs someone like him. He's focused, unselfish. He's that hard-nosed big with just enough skill to bite you when you forget about it. For Oklahoma City, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Outside for Durant. The shot's good. Cutlass and making the play. For three. And that's now 30 points for Kevin Durant. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Augustine against Lillard to the paint. Plumley, And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. That free throw, no good. Uh, well, Portland had another strong season against the rest of the West. Ended up with a record of 31 and 21 in the conference, and that was good enough to earn them the fourth spot in the West. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Nick Collison. Good on the second free throw. Portland did end up fourth in the West, as you said, Greg. You're talking about that, and 
Their 31 and 21 in conference record was the exact same as it was at the end, Clark, of the 2014 season. Well, actually, Portland won more games in 2014 than they did last season, and ended up fourth in the conference, mostly because of how they won their division. Lillard attacking. Shoots from 12. It's hauled in by Adams. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Durant kicks to Ibaka. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Kevin Durant. Solid, solid work on the back end of that play. Yeah, finish hard with two hands on the stuff. Yeah, nothing extravagant, guys, but again, no need on that one. Plumley with a screen on Augustine. Lillard, the pass to Plumley. Taking two shots. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. The Thunder leading by 16. Augustine up top, covered by Lillard. From the baseline, and it's sent back by Plumley. Lillard attacking, banked in off the glass. Lillard's got 13 points here in the second half alone. The Thunder have gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Half the time to go cold. Now here is Augustine. Ibaka with a screen on Lillard. Augustine dishes to Ibaka. And off the front iron, and in it goes. Ibaka's got four points in the quarter. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Lillard against Augustine. He hits Henderson on the wing. Good, great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got his eighth assist in the game. There you go again. A nice kick out after the D had collapsed on it. Left side, Durant. Bumley with the steal. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. And Aminu kicks to Plumley. Now, here's Lillard. He's guarded closely. Plumley, no luck. It's just been a brutal outing for him. He still hasn't managed to make a shot, and the team is struggling because of it. Ibaka with a screen on Lillard. Augustine passes to Durant, and easy two points on the layup. Durant's got 14 points here in the second half. He has really punished these defenders today. No matter who's been on him, he's been giving them medicine. Lillard attacking. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And you can tell he's hungry because that's how you eat away <laughs> at a lead right there. Make some highlight reel plays and oh, shake that defense up. Well, Greg, you're right. Not all two points are the same. Not when they come on a stuff like that one. Well, I like the craftiness in his game. I mean, he can distribute or he can attack the basket, just like we saw right there. has something for us right now. Doris? Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Billy Donovan said to the team. He said, we are this close to finishing them off, but the job is not done yet, and I don't want to see any let-up out there. 
We'll see how well his point got across, guys. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Leonard's checked in. Lillard against Westbrook. High arcing shot. Adams' shot is off. Trailblazers trail by 13. Lillard dishes to Davis. Uncovered. And again, it's Portland converting. You know, not necessarily what you're looking for, but still able to convert. Westbrook kicks to Roberson. Pass to Durant. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Durant's got nine points now in the quarter. Just carrying the load right now offensively, guys. He is not wasting any chances. From where I sit, Greg, it's a simple deduction. If they want things to be easy on themselves here late, make sure he has the ball. Lillard attacking, and you know that's going to be goaltending, guys, so that's a free basket right there. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Cantor, he checked in for Oklahoma City. And so here is Oklahoma City. They led by as many as 18 points. Here's Durant. Second chance shot, and he sinks the layup. Kevin Durant. Durant's got 36. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Lillard attacking, got a piece of it. It's stolen by Ibaka. It's two on one. Here's Durant. A huge slam, the perfect end of the fast breaks. Pretty devastating, actually, to turn the ball over like that and surrender two more points. Yeah, you can ill afford to make mistakes at this juncture. It might not be impossible to come back, but it just got all the more harder. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Down to five on the shot clock. Davis, the pass to Henderson. Davis sets a screen. Second chance shot. Kept alive. Tries yet again. And at last, they get one to fall. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Westbrook dishes to Durant. He lobs up the alley-oop pass and the dunk by Westbrook. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. You know, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, that just added more to and it. And you know, guys, right now they're starting to flatline, just hanging on here for dear life. And Lillard gets double teamed, stolen by Cantor. Here's Roberson. It's Durant on the wing. There's the three. And it's Portland with the rebound. Leonard's got his fourth rebound in this one. Leonard sets a screen for Aminu. Inside, here's Davis. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. That's now eight points for Ed Davis. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. The Thunder leading by 13. To the wing on the left. Back to Westbrook. Ibaka sets the pick for Westbrook. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Lillard against Westbrook. Davis in the corner. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lillard. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Oklahoma City's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Westbrook kicks to Roberson. Stolen by Henderson. And here we go. Fast break. Henderson's got it. Here's Aminu. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. You look at what Aminu has done so far. 13 points. And he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. And Clark, I'm sure that will be the last one. A lot of times, he can get hot and stay hot from beyond. Taking two shots. You know, guys, Al Farouk Aminu, so highly regarded coming out of college, Still really finding his way around the NBA, but this last season, 
with Dallas. He may have found his niche in this league. Uh, that's a great point, Kevin. A, a guy who can give you a lot of things, rebounding, defense, hustle points, but he's already played on a number of teams in his young career because he's still trying to, as you put it, find that niche. Maybe he's finally developed who he is. Well, that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, nice job there, Greg. Recognizing the opportunity was there to push it, and then excellent execution. Yeah, and on the topic of Aminu, he's a bit of a tweener. Doesn't have quite the quickness and ball handling skills the top small forwards have. Doesn't have the bulk or grit to match up against the better power forwards. He's a hard fit for what you want to have done at that position. One forty one left here in the fourth quarter. Westbrook against Lillard Davis and it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. And that's now ten points for Davis and guys getting back to Aminu. He still has the tools to be a really good player but like so many young guys he has to focus. He has to bring the intensity one hundred percent every game. I can see him being one of those late bloomers if you will. All right, now take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Westbrook. So Westbrook makes them both. 119 left in the fourth. Lillard outside. To the middle. It's stolen by Ibaka. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for Oklahoma City. Clark, this was a physical, physical game. Yeah, but the awareness they had offensively to penetrate really was the difference. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Kevin Durant. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. Outside Westbrook. Kicks to Robertson. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. And you can hear the disappointment in the crowd tonight. But we saw a team that was just ready to do battle in this arena. They clearly wanted this road. Crystal clearly. They came in here determined to steal this game, Greg. Their effort level, I thought, was outstanding. And they just took care of business. So Portland ends up going with the new group. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Nick Collison's checked in for Ibaka. Singler comes in for Kevin Durant. Dion Waiters checked in for Roberson. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one.
And Frazier drops them both. And so here is Oklahoma City. They led by as many as 18 points. Cantor sets the pick for Augustine. And it's Zingler in the corner. Cantor kicks to Waiters. Pass to Collison. Singler dishes to Collison. Over to the wing. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Yes, thank you, Kevin. Russell, obviously your ability to attack on offense is such a key for your team. How do you decide when to go to the hoop and when to pass the ball? I never know, man. I can see how the flow of the game is going. I try to stay in attack mode. That's what my team wants me to do, and I try to continue to do it. Russell, thank you. Kevin, he does it brilliantly. All right, Doris, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone. The 2K Sports postgame show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, Kevin Durant. He had just an outstanding fourth quarter performance. He really had the fire lit under him and down the stretch, really having a huge impact on the outcome of this game. There was nothing they could do to slow him down, Ernie. Man, you go into a building on the road and completely control the action like he did, only a few players could do that, Ernie. I'm impressed. This was vintage Kevin Durant we saw tonight, fellas. Just tearing it up. He's got the most diverse set of skills out there from an offensive standpoint. There isn't anything he can't do. And defensively, he can do it as well. It's almost impossible to count all the ways Kevin Durant helps his team. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA for Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan and the entire 2K sports crew. I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon.